Alright, I'm back with part two. As I said, stay as high as possible. You do not want to fall in the water. So take these moving platforms, jump across them, and woo! We are safe. There's another part that you have that you'll have to jump over. That platforms fall. Whoa! That was a close one. Oh, come on, I'm getting tired of those grounder enemies. Oh, that one almost hit me too. And oh boy. Okay, these things right here. Jump across them carefully. One at a time, and we are safe. Whoa. Kinda missed that platform there, but that's okay. That the spring takes us back up high. Jump, jump past the or jump over those to break them. You don't need to even go on that moving platform. And yeah, I'll get that ring box for the heck of it. And we are at the boss. Move a little bit away, and those statues will pop up. Stand on them. Or you can use those arrows and jump up to the top. It has to be from the second slot from the, the bottom up to the top. Otherwise, you can't jump up here like this. And Robotnik can only hurt you when he swings his hammer. Like that. So, time your jumps wisely and he will never touch you. And he's dead. Well, his machine's dead. And... Woo! Perfect timing. Yes, you're free! Run free! Next up, I think it's Casino Night Zone. Yep! Alright. Now this one, you can pretty much take any path. Whoa, I just glitched through that bumper. You can pretty much take any path and there's no bottomless pits. Though you can get squished by blocks. Oh, come on. Let me, let me through. Hey! I'll just go low, who cares. Oh, come on, get, stop, there we go. This sounds a little bit annoying because of this, all this bumper and stuff, but you can make it through with a little practice. Speedrunners are just absolutely amazing on this stage. It's just unbelievable what they can do. I'm gonna hit that for the fun of it. And hold A on these springs, and you'll build up their power to spring you forward. And... Uh, come on, there we go. Yeah, you have to go up from there, otherwise you're in a dead end. And keep going right... Oh, I missed the jump. I'll go down. Oh, I almost hit the bumper. That would've sucked. Waste of time. And make sure you hit the right side of these bumpers so you get propelled forward. Like that. And go up the very boring and slow elevators. Go down. Charge up, and we are already at the end of the level. Bye bye. That's a classic tune that'll stick in your head forever if you play this game. And take the spring, go all the way up. Keep holding right, you'll get up here. Hit that box if you want. Hit the other spring down there. And carefully jump across these things, otherwise you'll fall. It's slower, whoops. And jump down here on this platform. Jump across, jump up. Don't want to get squished by those. Skip the speed boots, unless you're a speed runner. That's the path to take if you if you want to speed run this game, or I should say this level. And this is pro oh, this isn't it yet. There's one annoying part that it's very hard to get out of, and I believe everyone encounters it at least once. So you have to know how to get out of it quickly. Yeah, I think it's through here. Yes, it is. Okay. Stop in the middle, spin dash, hit the bumpers on the left, and there you go. Most of the time, you'll go perfectly towards the right side, no matter what side of those bumpers you hit. And keep continuing right, and go down from here, 
right through these flippers because the boss is here. Yeah, usually the flippers are dead zones, but not in this game. And spin dash. Oops, I'll shoot. I spawned, that sucked. Okay, spin dash and jump off the wall to hit him. That's all there is to it, this boss. Aw, oh, that wasn't even fair. Okay, I can do it like this too, I guess. Keep jumping off the walls and make sure you avoid those spike balls. And this wall will mysteriously disappear like that. And we are out of here. Run! You will not be roboticized now, thanks to Sonic. Alright, Hilltop Zone. Your first obstacle will be these things. Make note on how these move. When they get to the end, they fall. So make sure you jump off before then. And those are spelled out to Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a close one. Do not touch the flaming balls with eyes, whatever they're called. Oh, I touched the flaming ball with eyes. <laughs> they hurt. With these springs, you want to stand at the farthest end you possibly can. The leverage will propel you higher than you would normally if you were to, st if you were to stand in the middle. Jump! And... When you get to the top, spin, and you'll break through. Now go left from here. Don't even bother about these springs, just jump right across them. Oh, Tails! Oh my god, I got lucky. Tails almost screwed me up there. Ah, oh, I forgot that was there. Keep going right now, an earthquake will start. Now wait right on the edge here for the lava to go back down, or fire or whatever. It looks kind of like fire. Oh, shoot. Because it would block that door right there if you didn't wait for it to come down. I'm going to get a ring, because I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, I guess I didn't have to, but there we go. And we are done with Act 1. Walk away. Okay, I just had to adjust the camera a little bit there. And, oh, I'm at 749. I'm going to have to cut this out. I'll see you guys later.